Hi GP Reptiles here. Um, today we're gonna build a hatchling rack for our baby ball pythons and other snakes. And uh, we picked up wood that we got ordered uh, for, for with special measurements uh, to, to fit our um, boxes. And we're gonna use boxes like this one. And it's a uh, box that uh, you can't normally buy but I got them from my work. So, but generally the, the, you can build the rack to any type of boxes and uh, uh, we already got the, the heating tape uh, here installed on the thinner piece of wood and we just have to mount the wires over here and this will be in the back of the rack and that's how it looks like in the back and uh, here are the sides of the whole shelf and here are the shelves uh, we already put the fronts over here, as you can see, and uh, we'll put the rest of the fronts after it's built. So that's how it looks like, and let's move on to the next step. Okay, so we got the sides ready, and um, this is the back, this is the front, and there is no fronts uh, stuck here yet, but we'll do it at the end when the whole shelf will be ready. So this is how it looks like for now and uh, let's go and mount the shelves okay we got uh, four shelves ready and uh, that's how it looks like and as you can see the, the box slides in and slides out pretty easily and uh, as you can see the gap is, is I think big enough that uh, these boxes won't need any additional uh, ventilation and on the other hand the snakes won't be able to move or escape through this this hole so we got four, four uh, shelves ready Should and we're just uh, doing it with the regular screws so nothing fancy so that's how it looks like and uh, the next clip will be all the all the shelves ready so. okay so we got all the shelves ready and uh, that's how it looks like there's only one box at the moment and uh, we still had to put the fronts on the on the wood uh, over here on the sides and on the bottom and here on the front uh, uh, sides let's say and uh, then we have to just mount the heating on the back and it will be all ready okay so we wired our heating mm. This is how it looks like, and uh, I don't know if you can see how it's going to be mounted on the shelf, but uh, we'll put the next clip of uh, heating already installed in the shelf, so you'll be able to see better. And for now, we soldered the cables to the flex watt because we didn't have any connectors, but it should work perfectly fine. So we already tested it, tested it, and it works. So uh, let's go and see how it looks like on the shelf. Okay, uh, we got all the shelves mounted, and we got uh, the heating tape uh, already in the back. As you can see, there are two stripes of flex watt on the back, and uh, each stripe is uh, supposed to be heating uh, two boxes on each shelf so uh, that means there will be four boxes on each shelf and that's how it looks like from the back uh, and uh, now we just have to put it in place and fill it up with boxes so with tubs let's say so let's go to that okay so the mini rack is ready all the tubs are inside the heating is uh, mounted the shelf is in place so that's how it looks like and we got the shelves over here you just see that they, they move uh, really nice nothing is not not too tight not too loose so everything is in, everything looks pretty nice um, here are two of our snakes um, it's a spider female and a female clown so for meanwhile, meanwhile, they'll be 
sitting here on the top and then they will go to the main rack and that's how it looks like so stay tuned because more videos are coming up and uh, oh and one more thing uh, as you can probably count already uh, it holds 32 tubs so um, should be enough for us this year next year probably we'll build another one so stay tuned and uh, see you then see you see you later